Hey Sagittarius, it's Tara Lynn. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be a message you need to hear from Spirit. And so this video is meant for all Sagittarius. So wherever you have Sagittarius in your chart, if you're drawn to watch this video, there's a message in it for you. I want to say that down in the description box, you'll find links to all my other social media, including ways to contact me if you want to get a private reading. And also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of this family. So for your cards, you have the Four of Wands reversed. You have Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands reversed, and Nine of Wands. So I'm getting the sense with this Four of Wands reverse that currently things in your life are not in alignment. There's something out of sync. There's something that's not going correctly for you. And I feel like with the Seven of Swords that this has to do with um, someone in your life or some sort of situation. There's some sort of deceit or things going on behind the scenes. This could also be your own personal energy though where you're deceiving yourself. Um, where you're trying to tell yourself you're happy with the situation but you're actually not. Um, I definitely feel like it's important for you Sagittarius to take time to rest to take time to ground yourself because it's like you planted the seeds for things and that's where that seven of swords energy could be coming into play because it's like you planted the seeds for things but you're not really telling anyone about it because you don't want anyone to take away from what you're working towards because right now you're not currently happy or there's something that's not going the way you wanted it to there's something that's holding you back um, and this doesn't have to be a major thing this could be a small thing it's almost like when you get a splinter it's annoying and it keeps like pestering you over and over again I feel like this is something where it's like there's just this one thing that you need to change and once you change it things are going to be good but until you do it's a minor annoyance and so some of you this is going to be a person in your life this is going to be a person who was not treating you fairly who was not helping you because you have this ace of pentacles here i'm really thinking like that seven of swords could be coming from your place of work and then it's time for you to start either looking for a new job or you know re-socializing with the people in your workplace trying to hang out more with someone else versus the current person you're hanging out with um i feel like there could be changes with your careers where there's a new beginning or for some of you guys these are people that are holding you back because you have a new career that you want to pursue or that there's a new relationship you want to pursue because Pentacles talks about the home life so this could be some sort of relationship that you think is really good for you and you have people trying to harp on you and be in your ear and say it's not good for you but you know it is um, so really listen to yourself and your intuition because I feel like this seven of swords it's just going to be um, causing conflict and um, trying to tear you down to make themselves feel better because you have the wheel of fortune you have good luck and you have prosperity coming your way but it's important for you to stay grounded and see things as a whole see the big picture and know what's good for you and what's not good for you and especially when you're looking at the long term of things because in the short term things might seem good for you but long term they won't be because we have seven of wands reversed here this is really telling me that you're having to defend something and that's why i really feel like a lot of this has to do with the opinions of others or you have someone harping on you and you don't need that because you have the nine of wands like you are have been facing difficulties you already have dealt with challenges and so now this person is just creating another issue for you and you're trying to like rush you're trying to recover from this because with the seven of Pentacles like you're trying to take a nap and really like rejuvenate your soul and you can't do that right now because of the people in your life so definitely take time um, either re-socialize or distance yourself from someone and if this is an internal battle um, I feel like some of you guys this could be you trying to defend things to yourself really take a step out and look at it from an outside perspective and see what is actually making you happy and what's not because at the end of the day this four of wands isn't reversed because you can't be happy it's just saying something right now is not in alignment with you and so you need to um, look at the big picture of things see what needs to change and make the minor adjustments because this feels like it's small things that are going to add up over time if you catch them now if you heal them you're gonna be that nine of wands where you're all bandaged up where you're actually taking time to heal yes you face difficulties but you've overcome them that's really what I'm saying for you Sagittarius right now is that it's important for you to take the time to see the new opportunities coming your way and not listen to the fears not listen to the doubt but really listen to yourself and focus on what you need to do to become in sync with yourself and so that you actually have the happiness that you want and so you're not chasing 
this dream that turns out to be an illusion the whole time. You want to make sure that you're chasing things that are good for you and you have that ability in you with that wheel of fortune. So definitely just like pay attention to your situations and the surroundings and to any internal conflicts and really figure out what's the best solution for you because you know it deep down. It's just a matter of getting rid of the seven of swords, getting rid of the deceit, getting rid of the illusions and the people that are squalling at you and trying to cause arguments and rifts in your life, especially those people who are trying to meddle in your life. You don't really need those people um, and so create distance between you and them. So I'm getting the sense for you Sagittarius with this angel on the shore here. This is really telling you that in your conscious mind you're divinely protected, you're divinely guided. So a lot of your ideas at the moment, a lot of the things that you want to do is actually going to be what's divinely meant for you. That you're being pushed towards things that spirit wants you to do. And we have the skull right here and I feel like it's almost getting washed away. Um, so it's not coming towards the shore, it's actually like going back towards the ocean. And I feel like the skull here is representing that negative energy from um, the people in the situations in your life that's being pushed away from you. I really feel like whatever that toxic mindset is that people are trying to put onto you, you are seeing through it and you're not letting them bring you down, that you're moving on and away from them because we have the mask here. This is really telling me that you guys are seeing through the illusion of things, that you guys are not looking at things and uh, believing them or believing what these people want you to believe. You're not giving into the fears and the doubts because if we look at the circle of protection, we have the fear charm. And then we also have the earring and then we also have the sacral chakra and the root chakra. So all of those are being protected and so what that's telling me is that even though you have fears and insecurities, your root chakra and your sacral chakra are balancing them out because you're being grounded, you're seeing what's real and you're following your passions. You're not going to let your fears get the better of you where you follow something through that's not meant for you. You are going to stick to your guns and stick to what's driving you and what you're passionate about because you have the snowflake here too. This is really telling me that you're standing out and you're going to be unique. You're not going to let people get in your way. You also have a star here and that's telling me that you guys are going to be drawing a lot of attention to yourself, which Sagittarius energy, it's very bold and vibrant and you guys are noticed. And so that's what's going on with this star energy here where you guys are really having the spotlight shined on your lives and you are transforming your period of your life where there's going to be a lot of new connections, um, especially with work. There's going to be a lot of different people you're meeting and different interactions going on and so that's going to cause a lot more eyes to be on you it's also going to cause a lot more people to be envious and jealous of you and I feel like that's where a lot of this negative energy is coming in from so if it's not currently in your life I feel like you're going to be gaining a lot of negative attention that you can just let go away because people are only looking at you and trying to tear you down because you are succeeding you're getting what they want and so instead of working hard and getting it they're trying to take it away from you but I feel like it's all going to work out for you because you're not letting it bother you, you're brushing it off. And you have the throat chopper here. And next to it you have the dog tag, which if I flip it over, it says the word believe. And so that's telling me that it's like you're believing in yourself and the way you carry yourself, the way you communicate and express yourself is really going to show that. Um, you guys are being very grounded because we have the root chakra again. So you guys are really like knowing what you're saying and you're analyzing everything before you say it. So you're able to communicate and network um, how you need to. And I also feel like for those of you who you are um, trying to defend your relationship, you have the ring here and next to it is the confirmation charm. And so this is really telling me like whatever your intuition is telling you, whether it's for a relationship, whether it's for friendships or a new or a new career path or new hobbies that you want to start spending your time doing. It's confirmation that whatever you invest your time into, there's going to be a reward coming back to you. So definitely keep that in mind. And we have the gold chain here, which represents different cycles in our lives. And right now it's a little bit all jumbled up. And I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius, that right now it's currently a time where things might not make sense. It feels like there's so many different things going on and that things are still in limbo, but that that's how this chain and this cycle is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be a super easy path for you. You're learning and you're growing from these different challenges you're facing. So you learn not to have fear control you anymore. So you learn not to give in to the naysayers and the people that are trying to tear you down. That you learn to stand up and believe in yourself and hold yourself to a higher level than they're trying to hold themselves to. And then all the way in the subconscious energy, we have this other ring here. And I really feel like the reason why that's isolated and why it's by itself is that it almost looks like a crown. And so this is really telling me it's like you're leveling up but on it, it has um, the color blue and then it has all these roses around it. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it. 
So there's more of a close up of it. And so it has the color blue, which represents the throat chakra. And then we have these three roses on it. And two of them are yellow and one of them is pink. And so that's really telling me that with this ring, you guys are alone with your crown and you have your throat chakra and your solar plexus working in harmony. And then you also have the rose, which represents romance, but it also represents um, passion and happiness and vitality. Because a rose, especially in like a lot of fairy tales, it always represented um, life and it always was showing like the life force that someone had and counting that off. And so I feel like you guys, you Sagittarius, you're sitting with your crown and your subconscious, the back of your mind truly believes that you are very successful, that you guys are going to achieve really good things and that you're meant to stand out. Whatever is going on in your life, there's a bigger purpose behind it. And like I said, like you guys really need to pay attention to the big purpose and the big scheme of things because I definitely feel like there's a lot of big changes that are going to happen and they might not really make sense now and they might not feel like they're all that big, but eventually it's all going to add up to something really amazing for you guys. And so definitely there's something going on behind the scenes that your intuition um, knows, but you haven't really like admitted it because it's all the way in the back of your subconscious where it's like it hasn't really hit you yet like you're you you have this sense and you have this awe and knowing and wonder about your life but you don't really see how that fits into anything just yet and what I'm being told by spirit is like it's not meant to make sense yet you're not meant to understand it it's just something that you need to know it's true the feelings and emotions you have are valid and there's going to be a lot of success coming your way but now's not the time for it to all come in at once it's going to happen over time and slowly and like all the things now it's like baby steps leading the way for it but that there is a bigger purpose for you guys so a lot of you guys are healers or empaths and that's going to play a role into the success that you guys have but there's definitely um especially across the collective for you sagittarius um you guys are leaders and that's showing and there's going to be a lot of power that comes with that leadership for you so i hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the youtube comments down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share with others also hit subscribe if you haven't already i would love for you guys to be a part of this family and turn on that notification bell so you see when I post my next video and I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.